What are you gonna get? Well, I'm about to do it big today, Ben. You're gonna see. I'm very hungry. Hey, uh, can I get an Angus steak sandwich on um, brioche and some double fried Belgian frites and a uh, ooh, ooh, spicy chili aioli, please? Nothing for me, thanks. I'm trying to count calories or something? Like, hey, I really respect that. No, Kevin, I am not on a diet. I just, I brought my lunch from home. I didn't, I wanted to save money. Save money? Great call. Thanks. By the way, how much have you been trying to save? Because I've been meaning to. Well, nobody really knows how much is enough. You're just not supposed to spend money on crazy extras, like ordering the whole menu at a food truck. I mean, everything looks amazing. It's just not a good habit, financially. Totally, yeah, totally. Is it too late to change my order? Look at you making good choices. Saving doesn't mean you have to skip lunch, though. The road to saving starts with knowing how and when to set money aside. Speaking generally, you can never save too much or start too early. It's all just a matter of opportunity cost or trade-offs. Let's say you didn't buy some fancy $5 coffee every day for a whole year. You'd have saved up $1,300. Which one seems more worth it? The right now coffee or the future pile of cash? With that in mind, try not to cringe when I say that as a rule of thumb, you should devote about 20% of your income to savings. But don't worry, that's spread out over two, sometimes three categories. First, you should be socking away money inside of your 401k, a retirement account that's set up through your employer. Depending on the details of your plan, your employer will likely match a certain percentage of your contributions. And it's important to max out that match, especially when you're young. The closer you get to retirement, the less time your money has to grow. So your savings dollars are never more valuable than they are right now. Next, you should be building a piggy bank fund, like this one that I use. His name is Trevor. This is money that you aren't saving for any specific purpose, but it's nice to have if the occasion arises. Maybe you lose your job and need to pay a few months of rent, or maybe what started as an emergency fund actually becomes the down payment on a house. The possibilities are endless and way less creepy than this. Who knows, maybe Trevor will get too chubby and he'll need a friend. Hi Trevor, I'm Liam. Hi Liam, I'm Trevor. I'm concerned about your weight. What? The final savings category is for higher education, and it may not factor into your budget just yet. Regardless, whether it's for a new degree you're pursuing or your newborn's future schooling, it's wise to get out in front of the tuition bills early. And the best way to do that is by setting up a 529 account, a tax-exempt fund that allows your education savings to grow over time, kind of like a 401k. It's a good move saying no to the frites, but you'll probably have to put in a little more effort to hit that 20% threshold. The good news is, it'll all be worth it down the line. And I, I'm not just saying that because you're saving calories. You're still here. Well, if you're looking for more, just subscribe to Mashable's YouTube channel. Then you won't have to miss any of my awesome and handsome explanations. One click.